Have you ever asked yourself how the Barbie dolls got their real eyelashes? How did Mattel did this? I'm Busy Bee from Germany. I'm a longtime Barbie collector and a Barbie dog for almost 10 years. This channel is more than your one-stop Barbie repair workshop. You always wanted to know how this works? Well, here's my way and I show you, my doll lovers, doll restorers and all others interested in this topic, how this works. And first I would like to give you an overview over my workspace. So for the lashes my streaks are thinner than normal rerouting streaks. Five or six single hairs are enough for one eye streak. The holes are much smaller and that's why I use a much thinner needle here. I heat up the needle before using it because I want to soften the head a bit while pushing the needle through the holes but to be honest it is not easy with a teeny tiny needle to make the reroute here. It's a hell of work to get through the head with a needle and it's a hell of work to get the thread through the needle but what have I not a risk for you to show you all these videos. I use a pair of tongs here because my needle is much shorter than my normal rerouting needle for the head. Why is my needle so small here? I don't want to damage the eye itself, neither the paint of the eye. That's why I use these teeny tiny needles here. You can get them from Prim. I got them in a set with lots of other sewing accessories a while ago. The principle is the same like it is used for the heads. I also work here with the lock and loop method and I make them depend one on another. The color I use here is black, just simple black for making it look like her original look was. And to be honest, when you have these long streaks it makes Francie look a bit like an alien. So strange looking somehow. <laughs> At first these hair streaks are weird looking but when you cut them everything becomes normal again. You will see this at the end of the video and you have already seen it in the beginning. Go, you can do it if you want. Don't be afraid, let me guide you. Be part of the doll community here on Busybee from Germany. Maybe some words about the cutting. I use a sharp pair of scissors for cutting the hairs. I use a pair of embroidery scissors to be exactly. But a pair of scissors used for cutting nails is also working fine. I have also used one pair and can tell you this from my experience. When you ask me why the Barbie family members or the real eyelashes were only available for a limited time I can tell you. This is really hard work. I needed approximately 30 minutes for just one eye, but I'm not really trained and I don't know if the way I showed here is the way Mattel really used in production. But from the needed time I can understand that the expenses for doing this feature were really high and, and I think that's why they stopped doing this after several years. What I have learned in this video is again that your time schedule should not be set too tight. I planned here less time than I really needed. Big mistake for lashes. Take your time for the cutting. Cut rather too long than too short. It saves time because you can cut a second time up to the correct length. I made another video about the secret of the eyelashes many years ago but I think my video was anything but good. It was when I first started to make videos. I'll put you a link in the corner above so that you can watch it if you want. So I hope you like my little video. You understand now the secret of the lashes. I hope you can see how easy but time consuming the rerouting of 
uh, lashes for frenzy is, but in some cases we just have to do it when we repair it all. Question of the day is how many mod dolls do you have in your collection with real eyelashes? Let me know in the comments below. I hope you like my little video, you, you share, like and subscribe. You become part of the community here at BusyBee from Germany. See you in the next weeks. Your BusyBee from Germany. Bye.